Hey, this is Doug from AI Light Show, and getting a few questions on what some of the terminology means when you're fix, uh, setting up your own fixtures. So just gonna do a quick little video here to show you what that looks like. So here underneath DMX Profiles, here's all the fixtures we've got set up. We're gonna add a new fixture, and the questions are around this start channel, start pixel, lighting elements, uh, lighting element up here, what does this all mean? And what this is, it's an auto fill channel control. So when you have a fixture like a light bar or a tube, you most likely are going to have several sets of LEDs in there. For example, if it's very basic, it'll just be an RGB uh, LED in there, but there might be four of them in there, four sets, or there might be five sets or 10 sets or 40 sets, you name it. So this gives you the option to automate that process. So let's say, for example, that we have a basic fixture, it's RGB, but there happens to be five groups of RGB lights in the fixture. That gives us five zones to uh, control, right? And those are called pixels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's just name this test light. Okay, and I know that it's an RGB fixture and there's five sets of them. So that'd be five times three, red, green, blue. Okay, that's gonna be 15 channels in this light. And also you would refer to your owner's manual on the fixture. Okay, so start channel, channel one, and start pixel is one. It's the first group. And the lighting elements are, how many groups of RGB do you have in this fixture? Well, if you remember, I said I have five. Okay, and autofill. So there you go. It automatically sets up red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue times five. Okay, now, you might be asking yourself the question, that makes sense. So why do I need this start channel and start pixel and, and lighting elements, why do I need these selectable any further? Well, because sometimes a manufacturer will throw a dimmer channel or some kind of control channel between groups of lighting elements, okay? So let me show you how that would look. So I'm going to exit out of here. Yes, I wanna exit, it didn't save that. Okay, good, so now, test fixture again. Now this time, I'm gonna use the same example, but I'm gonna add a dimmer channel and a strobe channel that they decided to put in right in the middle of all those color controls, okay? So because I'm adding two channels, a dimmer channel and a strobe channel to a 15 channel fixture, that means I need 17 channels. You guessed it, okay. Still, once again, this is an RGB type fixture. Uh, just point of reference here, if you have an RGB UV, an RGB W, whatever it would be, you would uh, select that here, and then the math changes depending on how many color elements you have, right? Okay, but remember, simple, RGB. Okay, so start channel. I know in the manual I'm looking, and the first three channels are red, green, blue. So I can go ahead and set that up. First channel, first pixel, but I only need one set of them set up because right after that, the manufacturer threw the dimmer and the strobe channel in there and then the other four sets of red, green, blue lights, okay? So we start with that. I've got red, green, blue like I'm supposed to. I'm gonna add the channel here. This is a dimmer channel, okay? And it's a coarse dimmer and it's gonna give me the value between zero and 255 like you would. The next channel is a strobe channel. Click on that for the strobe. Now, strobe, I wanna create this as a static control channel. A static control channel means it never changes. It always stays the same value that you tell it to be. And this is helpful when you either wanna keep a function off or turn a function on all the time. So most often the case you wanna turn it off because as a general rule of practice, any internal control functions of that light, such as color macros, movement macros, strobe feature, shutter features, you wanna turn all that off and let the force one make those decisions. Okay, so I know when I reference my manual, it says that uh, my value between zero and five on the strobe channel have no function, which means there's no strobe. So as long as I set this somewhere between zero and five, let's just set it to three there's not gonna be any function on that channel allowing the force one to do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I added those two extra channels that we talked about, but now I still have four sets of red, green, blue to put in, and I could do that one channel at a time, but that takes a lot of time. 
So that's when we use this auto fill channel feature. So I know that my start channel is going to be six because the last channel is five. And I'm starting on the second pixel, meaning the second group of red, green, blue, because I already have the first one down here. Um, and how many groups do I need to set up? Well, I need to set up four. Whoops, four, because not 54, four, <laughs> because I have a uh, total of four groups of red, green, blue, and I've already got one set up. I hit go. And you will see that starting on channel six, right after that strobe channel we put in here, I have all the rest of the channels I need, and now I can save this fixture and be done.